For this problem, we're asked to write a method named switch pairs that accepts an array list of strings as a parameter and switches the order of pairs of values in the array. So for this example, we are going to create an array list of string. This is just the test code. And after we create our array list of type string, we are going to add all of the test values in, which is what we're given in the problem. And the output is going to have to look like this. So we're going to print out our first line, and that's going to be the array in its regular form. We're going to send it into the method, and then we're going to output it in the method. We need to account for if it is odd, because the instructions say that if there are an odd number of values, the last element is not moved. That means we are going to have a placeholder, and we're going to initialize it just to any random string. We're going to reassign that string if the size modulus 2 does not equal 0. So basically what that means is that it gets the size of the array. In this instance, it is 7, so the size is 7. So you have 7 modulus 2, and that is 1. That does not equal 0, so it's going to go through this if statement. And it is going to assign the temporary string. We have x dot size minus 1 and that is going to get the last index. And after we get the last index from here, we're going to remove it from the array list temporarily. Now we are going to switch the pairs. So we have a for loop. We are going to set i equal to zero. We need our for loop to run through the entire array. So as long as i is less than x dot size, and then we're going to inc increment i plus plus throughout the array so that we can reach the x dot size and stop the for loop. From here, we're going to x dot add. We're going to get the index and the value that we want to add in. So we are adding into the next index because the, for example, the first index is zero. So we are going to get this in x index and then we are going to increment it to 1. So for example, if we take this first part, i equals 0, our index right here is going to be 1. So at the first index, which is b, we're going to remove it. So using the x dot, using the array list add method, we can see that we're going to add an index, and then we're going to add the string element. So the string element that we're going to get is our what is our i plus plus our i plus plus here is since our i value zero it's going to be index one and index one is just b and what that's going to do is it is going to add it to our i plus plus value and after it's added in here it basically switches the two and then if we were to keep going if we did not have this i minus minus it would skip over um, one of these values. So if we take this out and we run it, we can see that it, it skips over the C and it does it with these two instead. So we do need the I minus minus because basically what, this, what, what all of these increments do is they push the array list forward. So the for loop is looking forward into the array and we need to pull it back so that it can examine our C and D. After we do that, all we need to do is add back in our odd value. If we don't have this, it won't have our odd value. So adding back in completes the code.